Hi everyone and welcome to Top 10 Tips of 2021. Tip number one, there's lots of free diamonds and some do's and don'ts that you can get at the beginning of the game. So if you are a new player, make sure you check out this shop. That's the last tab at the bottom of the screen. And normally at the bottom of the screen, there's loads of free diamonds that you can collect. So you can link your Facebook, Twitter, Reddit for all extra diamonds. And what you should do while in the shop, there's a couple of do's and don'ts you should follow. So you should never buy equipment. Buying equipment costs a ton of diamonds. So normally 800 diamonds. And this is better spent on buying all damage, all gold, fluffers and kit at the beginning of the game. These four pets are the top pets you should be focusing on and if they're not available then you should be buying other pets as well. And the only time that you should be buying chest is maybe when it's on a two time bonus offer and when inside a tournament only. So inside a tournament buying chests can help you progress to a higher position and hopefully finish in first place for the best rewards in the tournament. So it really should only buy a chest in tournaments if it's on offer and it's gonna get you a first place win. Tip number two, look in your settings. Settings can be found at the top left of the screen where the gear icon is. Now in settings, there's quite a few things that you can update and change to make your game more smooth. So you first turn on a scientific notation that's in the top middle. And a lot of the community use scientific notations as standard. It's very easy to use. It just means that numbers after E, so the higher the number, the more the zeros after E. So in the picture on the right, it says it's E15. It just means that there's 15 zeros after E. So if there was an item with E12, there'd be 12 zeros, meaning it's a lower number and so weaker. So that's how scientific notations work. I would recommend to turn that on. Power saving options. I normally turn all of it off, apart from maybe the raid details. This saves battery life on my phone, saves it overheating, and also it means I can play longer, and also your phone will thank you for it. Days transition unlock at 500, but just in case, make sure you turn it on. This just means that the background of the stages change, but the higher level you go, the more quicker the stage change. So instead of having the animation or graphics keep interfering with your gameplay, just make sure your stage transition is turned on so it gives you more time in between transitions. Raid retry, I will always keep this turned on. That's at the bottom right. That means when you're doing raid with your clan or on the solo quests, you've got the opportunity to ret retry the deck in case you make a mistake or if it's a bad RNG. Support, this is for general fixes, Q's and A's, and also you can do live message support. So that's the spanner icon. If you click on that, it's got tons of Q's and A's you can filter through if you've got any problems with the game or any glitches or malfunctions. And you can also click on the message icon at the top right to live message the support team. Prestige upgrade heroes at $23.99 in shop or depending on your currency um, or after reaching 10K. So at the bottom left, you see prestige hero upgrades is turned on. That just means level up your heroes is done more sufficient. To make sure that it's turned on so you can either get it automatically after reaching 10K stage or if you spent $23.99 in the shop. Same with fairy ads, that's just above it. Make sure this is switched on especially if you're running a fairy build so again you can watch adverts to get the fairy income but if you spend over 48.99 or whichever currency it shows for you you can skip to add automatically and this perfectly moves on to today's sponsor which i'm happy to announce first i'd like to thank huawei for sponsoring the huawei app gallery for sponsoring this video you can get tap titans 2 through huawei's app gallery and by doing so you can get massive discounts from all in-game purchases also come up shortly we'll be adding more promotions discounts and also giveaways with huawei so it's a perfect opportunity to download their app and try it out it's very simple and easy if you're a new player it's easy to download and play tap titans through huawei and if you're not very easy to migrate to that app all you need to do is make sure your account is synced first so you make sure you go to the options go to account and link your email and password to make sure it's synced up and ready to go once you've done that you go to huawei app gallery which i'll link in the description below you can use the link if your desktop and use use an emulator for example bluestacks which is i'll be using today to download it so if you are using a web browser 
or an emulator what you need to do is go to the huawei app gallery go to the top right where it says download app gallery click on that download the pack which only takes a few seconds once you download it, it will automatically install into your emulator then you open up the app itself app gallery and then you need to create your account so you can click on next and you just need to enter a few, a few quick easy details so to use features you, you need to make an account all you need to do is over is you can do it from the home page or for the app so if you're in the home page you just click on register and for country selection you need to make sure it's even a nordic country or in the eu uh, if you're not sure which one to pick i pick finland in the nordic region and this will make sure you get the discount the big, big discount that's provided plus all the up, upcoming benefits that you will be launching soon then you put in your email it will send you a code to authorize and then select your password confirm your password and date of birth very quick and simple once you've completed it and then you can search for game on top right or you can do that you click on apps and search for it but so you search for tap titans 2 and click install so once you've got the game installed you open up as per usual if you haven't already created an account, this is a perfect opportunity to create a Huawei account now. So you can either register or log in. I have already got my account created. So if you're a new player, it start just a brand new game. If you're not a new player, as I mentioned before, as long as your account is you've synced up in your previous account, just go to options, account settings and just click import account process. So you can sign in through Facebook or through email. So once you synced your account again, all the progress will be updated and just remember that it's only saved up to your prestige so if you've done up to a run make sure you prestige first so you don't have to start at the beginning of the run again then as you can see i've transferred my account you see all my all my details accounts still there it's now on about eighty thousand. but the best thing about this is that everything is so much cheaper so normally normally my currency for season pass will be 9.99 it's only 8.90 for season pass and if you go to the purchase store then you go to the bottom everything is discounted so you've got the 1400 diamonds is only 89 and you've got your skipple ferries only 4450 so you get fantastic value huge discount which is going to make it tons easier to get loads of diamonds so you can get, get loads of tc chests to become a well and smash the game if you've got any questions or any have any issues with tribe shouting make sure you join our discord so discord's link below for any feedback and also to up to date with any promotions and campaigns we have a campaign coming soon for even more promotions discounts and giveaways so make sure you're following and up to date for the latest information and to do that that be in the discord so you're up to date again i'd like to thank huawei app gallery for sponsoring this video and click on the app gallery link below to help support this channel and thanks again tip number three achievements now there's three main achievements daily milestones and progressions they all have great sources of diamonds now daily achievements is the most important as it provides tickets which are needed for to start raids most clans have a rule of ticket gathering per week we maybe get kicked so it's worth checking daily milestones and progressions are worth saving for tournaments then collecting during tournaments for extra diamonds uh, to use for chests or pets Tip number four, banking. Now banking is a way to save several resources before tournaments and to help increase your chances of winning first place. You can now only bank diamonds and shards before tournaments. For the recent update, which will be 5.1, when that comes out, the relics, you used to be able to bank relics before, but they're taking it out so that it's the total relics gathered now is now included. So unfortunately you can't bank relics anymore, but you can still bank diamonds and shards. So when you're in tournament, you can use your shards to buy complete mythic sets to give you a power boost. And also you can use diamonds to buy chests or pets and other equipment. The general rule is to level up your books of shadows in between tournaments. And then before tournament starts, a few runs of relics, as I said, this will be only applicable until 5.1 update comes out and diamonds and shards then during tournament use all these resources to boost your power now i have a separate video on tournaments tips for 2021 coming out soon so make sure you're subbed and followed so you're notified as soon as the tournaments video is released Tip number five, Books of Shadows. Now I'll bring it up again. This is one of the most important artifacts in the game. This artifact is guaranteed between the sixth and 30th artifacts owned. So it must be owned and not salvaged. So make sure you don't salvage those artifacts. 
the sooner you get this the better then when you do get it make sure you're leveling this artifact over 80 percent ltr which will mean is lifetime relics over 50 percent is good but over 80 percent is even better and that's what it should be at before you start a tournament now what do i mean by lifetime relics so if you click on the artifact info at the bottom it says percentage of lifetime relics and it's shown as on the screen below tip number six updates and special events now game hive tends to send out updates and things event quite regularly at the moment it's usually once a month there's a badge event and there's always a high chance of something will be an offer for these events and updates these for example bonus chest bundles special event items and also sometimes the reset cost on a skill tree is reduced so if a vip it could be down to 75 percent i would also recommend to save diamonds before an update to help you increase your odds of getting something good during the limited event so make sure you're banking those diamonds and also if you're thinking of changing your build uh, wait for the updates as it may bring discounted reset that will help you save on a lot of diamonds Tip number seven, salvaging. I've had mixed feedback whether or not you should or should not salvage an artifact, but hopefully a better one. In my opinion, I would never salvage any artifacts. The relics you get back is the same cost as having to buy it back and also you spend the same amount of gain to buy it back eventually and also you need all 97 artifacts before you can start enchanting them anyway so i believe getting all 97 artifacts sooner will be better than later and also if even if it's a bad artifact all have some increase in gold or power at some point so even if it's only a tiny bit it still helps in some way and the biggest thing is the cost of diamonds to salvage could be better spent on pets or other things so instead of spending 2000 diamonds and, and disenchant an item you might as well just save that on spend it on pets for better power tip eight banking equipment now i've seen some players not collect dropped equipment and stockpile them or collect equipment and keep them now there's a limit of 100 equipment slots if you don't sell your old equipment the lowest or oldest equipment gets deleted and replaced with your new drop if you've got a full 100 equipment and replaced with a new drop if you're at 100 equipped items now i would i would recommend to sell any duplicates or low items and use the extra diamonds to buy more pets for more growth potential also banking equipment is not wise either not equipment uh, equipment drops also means you're missing out on your daily achievements and not helping to collect tickets for the clan there's literally no benefit for stockpiling huge amounts of equipment for example on this picture here it's got 174 items dropped not collected that would mean when you collected those items 74 of the oldest items will automatically get deleted now if any of them were not locked and were actually useful for example like maybe a mythic item then that will be lost so it's really risky and not worth it so don't overbank 100 items i would sell them regularly so that you're gaining you're collecting your daily tickets and also you can use diamonds straight away to level up now then later the only time i re recommend banking a little bit is banking some equipment before a tournament just so you can get an extra may maybe be lucky you might get a legendary item or mythic item at the start of the tournament or you can sell them in tournament for more diamonds but that's the only time only a small pile tip nine side quests now there's pet quests solo raids and uh, the abyssal tournament pet quest is where you send your pets so you dispatch them for a set period of time to an enable reward which could boost could be a boost of power gold or other st status effects for a certain time period as a time period is always small between 20 and 40 minutes it's all it's often wise to get all the boosts ready for tournament then use them when you want to reach past your max stage to help push a little further solar raids is released weekly where you have to reach to say 50 to beat titans for additional rewards these are a good way to complete each week for extra dust cards and for tons of other goodies so it's good to just farm these out as soon as you can each week and hopefully you can reach stage 50 for maximum rewards and the abyssal tournament is a new system where you begin a new game in an alternate dimension separate from your main game this is where you start from scratch and given limited tools to level to the highest stage within 24 hours. You're given rewards based on the place in brackets you end at in the end of the tournament. Each tournament is, has different variants, so you have different bonuses 
and corrupted diamonds to use to help you speed through those levels. Now these three quests are great ways to earn additional resources. So I would recommend to try to do all of them as you can. So the more pet quests, solar rays and abyssal tournaments to do, the more there's more potential of power to gain more levels. And finally, tip number 10, guides and optimizers. If you're ever stuck on a user guide, there's tons of useful guides and support for this game. It's a wonderful community in Tap Titans 2. CompDM website is probably the best known and used by far. Now we'll put a link to this below, so please check it out and show support for all the people who work hard on the websites. Uh, I have made separate videos on how to use the tools, like the two tool optimizer, resources guys, and I have got tons of videos coming out for 2021. Uh, so I've got the top five tips beginners must know, which is coming out shortly. I'll try to do an updated guide each week Plus, some, plus I also stream every Wednesdays and Sundays on Twitch and YouTube. So make sure you follow me on Twitch. If you've got any Q's and A's, you won't ask me directly there. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you're subbed and follow for the latest Tap Titans news. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.